Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Longo here and we are going to cover certain aspects of functions in this video. So a function is, you know, equation that you could graph and it's going to have a whole bunch of different things you can talk about, um, such as x-intercepts and y-intercepts. The x-intercept is where the graph will intersect the x-axis and it can do that multiple times. And then you have a y-intercept, and that's where the graph intersects a y-axis, but it could only do it once if it's a function. So to give you an idea, if we just made a little swoop like that, um, this guy right here would be your y-intercept because it intersects the y-axis. And as you can see, that's when x is 0. That's why we say y-intercepts are 0, comma whatever number it crosses the y-axis. And our x-intercepts would be these two right here. Those two would be your x-intercepts, and they would be whatever the x-coordinate is, comma, zero, because we never go above or below the x-axis at that specific point. That's why the y-coordinate is zero for x-intercepts. When you read a graph, you always read left to right, just like you're reading the words on the screen. So if we're going to have an increasing and decreasing interval of a graph, you read left to right. So it increases when it goes up from left to right, and it decreases when it goes down from left to right. So remember, always make sure you're reading left to right when you're talking about a graph. Um, local maximums and local minimums, that's basically just a turning point. So you've probably heard it also called a vertex at times, which is also true at some points. Um, so the top or the bottom of a graph when it's curving, those would be considered local maximums and local minimums. Now, there is such a thing as an absolute max or an absolute min. We will talk about those when we get to them. Your domain are just the x values of the function. And we can have an infinite number of x values of a function, and we're going to in many cases. Um, and the range is the y values of a function. And we're going to have a separate video to talk about domain and range as well. So if you need extra practice after this video on domain and range, you'll have that opportunity. Finally, we have end behavior. And that's what the graph is doing at the ends of the graph. So to the, all the way to the right, all the way to the left. Um, so that's the only time you kind of read um, as you're going to the left um, for negative infinity. But we'll talk about that in more detail in a little bit. Okay, so this is all going to make a lot more sense if we look at graphs, so let's do that. Um, so here's just a random function that I have sketched out for you, and we're just going to list all this information I just talked about. So x-intercepts is the first thing up. Your x-intercepts are the points where we cross the x-axis. So as you can see, we have one at negative 7, negative 3, and a positive 5. So our x-intercepts are at negative 7, 0. We have another one at negative 3, 0. And we have our third one at 5, 0. Remember, intercepts are coordinates, so you always want to write them in coordinate form. We have a y-intercept. Now remember, if it's a function, it can only have one y-intercept because it must pass the vertical line test. So we have one at 4, so that would be at the coordinate 0, 4. Okay, so that's an example of your intercepts. We have x-intercepts, which there can be multiple. Sometimes there's one, sometimes there's none. Um, but you can only have one y-intercept. Um, after that, we're talking about our increasing and decreasing behaviors. So remember, increasing is where it rises from left to right. Now, increasing and decreasing, I will tell you, is a little bit tricky. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a notation to use. We're going to have coordinates. This is, where does it start to rise? Okay, so we start our rising, and then where does it end? And we use x values of coordinates. So here is a section where we go low and increase until we get high. That is our increasing interval. 
So as you can see, from this point to that point, the graph goes up. So our increasing, we start when x is equal to negative 5, comma, and it stops increasing when x is 2. So we don't list the y values. For increasing and decreasing intervals, we only state the x values. Okay? Now, decreasing, as you can see, we have two of them. So decreasing, when you have two different sets of intervals where it decreases, you have to list both of them, but you have to put a union symbol in between them. Okay, so union means it's they're doing it at two separate times, but that's where they're both decreasing. So remember what an arrow means. Arrow means this is going to the left. Now remember, with increasing and decreasing, you look in terms of x. So x is going left, so that would be a negative infinity. And the first interval then is from negative infinity until x gets to a negative 5 is where it decreases. So from negative infinity to a negative 5, the graph is decreasing. Okay, now notice negative 5 is also going to be one of the starting points for where it increases. We already covered that part. And then from 2 till we go to positive infinity, the graph is going down or decreasing again. So from 2 to positive infinity, our graph is also decreasing. Now again, these are tricky, I understand, but with practice you'll have it just fine, so don't worry about it. Um, now while we're talking about increasing and decreasing, I want to skip to end behavior. End behavior is just what is the graph doing at the ends of the graph. So as x goes to negative infinity, which we can say is left, f of x is doing what? So as this graph goes left, what is it doing? Going up or down? And as you can see, it's going up. So if it's going up, f of x or our y value is going to positive infinity. Okay? So as x goes to positive infinity, which means as it goes to the right, what is the graph doing? So as we go to the right, the graph is going down. So if the graph is going down, it's going to negative infinity. So whenever you're looking at graphs, you have to do yourself a favor and think in terms of up, down, left, right. Right and left are your x values, up and down are your y values. We know that. But sometimes the tricky part is when do we use what? So in end behavior, it's going to look like this. It's going to say x is doing this. So what is y doing as we go left? And it's going up, okay? So those are the kind of things you want to ask yourself as you're listing this information. Um, the last thing we have to cover are maxes and mins. So maxes and mins would be the top or the bottom of a graph. So this is the bottom. This is a turn. Okay, so that would be a local minimum. So a local minimum would be at the coordinate negative 5, negative 8. But we also have a local maximum at the top of a turn. So this is where we have a local max. Um, so at the top we have 2, comma 6. Okay, so those are all the different points of this graph. Now, domain and range is a totally different type of thing to talk about. Um, this is where you list what are the possible x values and where we list the possible y values. So again, you look from left to right. Does this graph go forever to the left? Yes, it does. Does it go forever to the right? Yes, it does. So your domain is x is equal to all real numbers. So remember, domain are your x values. Then you look at your range, or your y values. So does y go down forever and ever and ever? Yes, it does. It's going this way. Does it go up forever? Yes, it does. So y is also equal to all real numbers. Now, just in case you didn't know, this is the all real number symbol. Um, so 
it's not always going to be all real numbers. I'm going to tell you right now in the next example, we are not going to have an all real numbers for your range. Domain probably will be. Okay, so that's an example of everything. So we went through everything step by step for that example. What I would like you to do now is pause the video and try this example on your own. As soon as you're ready, click play, and I'll go through it a little bit quicker this time. We don't want this video to last all day. Um, now that you understand what each one of these things is. So give it a shot. Okay, hopefully that is enough time for you to work on this question. So let's talk about our x-intercepts. Remember, our x-intercepts is where we intersect the x-axis. So you should have picked negative 5, 0, and you should have also picked 3, 0. Our y-intercept is where it crosses the y-axis. So we should have a y-intercept of 0, negative 7. Um, since we're listing coordinates, I want to talk about the local max and local min. For the local maximum, you should have said none. Look, it never curves from increasing to decreasing. The only thing it does is it has a coordinate at the bottom of a curve. So a bottom of a curve is a local minimum, which would be negative 1, negative 8. Now, I also hinted earlier, when it's the most bottom point of that graph. Not only is it local, it's also known as an absolute minimum. And if it was the highest point on the graph, it would be the absolute maximum. Okay? But, you know, I didn't ask you to state absolutes right now. We're just worried about can we find maxes and mins. Um, so that's it for our coordinates. So now we're going to talk about where do we increase or where do we decrease. So the first thing up was increasing. Um, now another little tip for you, and it might help, I've mentioned before, it's best to read from left to right. So another thing you could do is whenever we're over here, this is the left side, that's negative infinity, and this is the right side, so that's positive infinity. And again, I'm talking about x values. When we talk about increasing and decreasing, we're talking about x values. Um, so as you can see, this graph goes down or decreases first, and then it increases. And that's all it does is decrease and then increase. So we only have one thing to list for each. So our decreasing interval is from negative infinity until we get to negative 1. Now remember, we list only x values for increasing and decreasing. So then when we go from the bottom to the top, that's increasing. So we started to increase from negative one and it doesn't stop until you get into positive infinity. Okay, now remember we read left to right, so that's why we use x's. Um, end behavior. As you can see, as you go this way to negative infinity for our x value, what's the graph doing? It's going up. So we're going to go to positive infinity in both directions, actually. So as you see, as we go to the right, it's also going up. So that actually means that this is an even function, which we'll talk about some other day. But that means it's increasing in both directions. So that means we have an end behavior of positive infinity for both left and right. Last thing is our domain and range. Now, I told you that your range was not going to be all real numbers. Our x values are, though. It goes left forever because of the arrow. It goes right forever because of the arrow. So our domain is x is equal to all real numbers this time. Now, here's the tricky part about range. It doesn't go below this level. So that's where y, remember range is y, y never goes below negative 8. So we have to say what y is available. And your values of y are all things that are greater than or equal to negative 8. Okay, we don't say range y cannot be less than negative 8. We don't talk like that. With domain and range, we state what it is, unless there's like one minor exception. Okay, so for this, 
y has to be greater than or equal to negative 8, and that'll hit every point on that graph. Okay? So that was, uh, you know, covering another example. We have one more for you. Um, so why don't you go ahead and pause the video one last time, give it a shot. Come back when you're ready to hear the answers. Just click play, and we'll see how you did. All right, guys, we'll go through this one just a little bit quicker. Um, our x-intercepts, you should have had four of them. We had negative 7, 0. We had negative 3, 0. 4, 0. And 8, 0. Every time it crossed the x-axis. Our one and only y-intercept would be 0, comma negative 6, because that's where it touches the y-axis. Where are local maxes and local mins? Well, I hope you weren't tricked by this, but you have two local maximums. It goes from increasing to decreasing twice. One of them was at negative 5, comma 3. And the other one was when we got to 6, comma 7. We have one local minimum, that's where we're at the bottom of the graph, and that's at 1, comma, negative 7. So, where are we increasing? Well, I'm going to use red, so we're going to increase from here to here, and then we're going to increase again from here to here in terms of x values. So, we increase from negative infinity until we get to a negative 5. And then we decrease for a while, but then we go back up again from 1 to 6. And notice we are using x values. For decreasing, we start high and go low twice. Once there and once here. We decrease from negative 5 to a positive 1. And then we decrease again from a positive 6 until we go to positive infinity where it's going to continue to decrease forever. Um, as far as end behavior goes, we just look what it's doing at the ends. As we go to the left, the graph goes down, so it's going to negative infinity. And as x goes to positive infinity, which we know is to the right, our graph is going down again. So it's going down to negative infinity. Lastly, domain and range. Our domain is going to give us x is equal to all real numbers again. It goes right and left forever. But what does your graph never go above? It never goes above 7. So y has to be less than or equal to 7. Okay? Um, I know this was a long video, but there's a lot of information to cover when we're talking about aspects of a function. So hopefully you got all that. If you need to, go back and watch some additional examples. Um, increasing and decreasing tends to be one of the more challenging parts of it, also domain and range. Um, again, there is going to be a separate domain and range video to help you read a graph. Okay, so this is long going. I'm out. See you. Bye.